welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Linda. In my last video, I talked about how I'm going to be doing a Shop My Stash. So basically, I went through all of my makeup collection and I dug up a bunch of items that I just haven't been giving enough love to. So I am going to try to use these items for two weeks and whatever I love, I love and I'll keep it in my collection and hopefully in my rotation and whatever I don't is gonna go in the trash. Spoiler alert, some of the things I use today are going in the trash immediately. So, I mean, I guess it's good that I did this experiment, but I also fell in love again with some old products, so that's really cool. A few things. Number one, next week I'm going to be doing a Q&A question and answer video. If you have any questions for me about me, about makeup, about anything, put them in the comments below and I will try to get to them. Secondly, in about two weeks, I am going to IMATS again. This is the International Makeup Artist Trade Show in New York City. If you guys are going, please, if you see me, come up and say hi, let me give you hugs. I'm a big hugger, I don't know, I'm like a huggy girl. But definitely come up and say hi. I will have a haul and I will also have a vlog of IMATS. IMATS is really the only time I'm doing vlogs right now because I really enjoy the experience of every year and I want to bring it to you guys. Third, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that notification bell and you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. Let's get right into this bright ass look. Okay, let me get my hair out of my way and then I am going to start on the skin. Today I'm gonna go in with the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. Uh, I'm a little nervous, this might be too dark for my skin, but uh, I always liked this foundation before, so let's see if I still like it. I hate dropper foundations. I hate them so much, they always just don't work for me and I always wind up just having to dump it on my hand, which, I don't know, it just annoys me. So this foundation's empty. I'm not, what, why? Why did I put this in my shop my stash if the damn foundation is empty? So instead, I'm going to go with the Balm's Balm Shelter Tinted Moisturizer. This there's plenty of. What the hell? So I haven't used this tinted moisturizer in a long time. Uh, the color is a little dark for me. And compared with other tinted moisturizers I've used, I don't know if I like this as much as I used to. It sort of emphasizes the little hairs on my face because I have not done, you know, my at-home microblading slash shaving my face in quite a while. Um, I don't like to do that often. And um, I don't know, I don't hate it, but I just don't love it as much as I used to. We're gonna give it a shot for a little bit longer though because I do like the way it feels on the skin. I'm going in with my concealer, which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. So I wasn't really thinking and I patted the uh, foundation over my eyelids, so I'm not gonna be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion like I said I would, because I'm a big liar and all I do is lie to you guys. That's why I have this channel. This is the channel of lies, welcome. I'm going to go ahead and contour with my Anastasia Contour Kit. This is the powder kit. As you can see, this middle shade Fawn is well loved and not much else is. So this is interesting. I'm having a little bit of trouble blending the contour over this tinted moisturizer. I usually never have a problem with this, so we're just gonna keep blending. That is, that's a stripe. So let's dot that out a little bit. Okay, we're subdued a little bit. We're a little more subdued now. Okay, for the eyebrows, it's my trusty Anastasia Dip Brow in Auburn. If you guys want a brow tutorial, don't ask me. Brows are not my strongest suit and there are so many other cool tutorials that you can watch. Maybe I'll link a few below. Okay, now we're going in on the eyes. I have to admit, I just took some hella strong inspiration. I just finished watching Angelica, I hope I'm saying her last name right, Nyquist's latest video, and she did this bright chartreuse on the lid with blue underneath. I have to rock it. I'm going to try it, so we'll see how it comes out. First, I'm gonna start with Urban Decay's Pencil and Freak all over the lid as a base. Next, I'm going to go in with this bright matte chartreuse. I believe this is a MAC shadow, but I do not know the color. I'm 
I'm gonna take that same green onto a fluffy brush and just kind of blow it out into the crease and out on the sides of it. I'm gonna take a touch of Max Swimming and put that just in the outer corner. For my highlight, I'm going into the Anastasia Tamana palette and going in with Fresh. For under my eyes, this is a little bit brave for me, so have faith. I talked in my last video about how MAC Electric Eel was the very first high-end eyeshadow I ever bought, so I'm going to try putting that under my eyes. As a base, I'm going in with MAC's 24-7 Pencil in Chaos. I'm always so jealous of those girls who can do really blown out looks on the bottom, but because I do have a lot of fine lines under my eyes and, uh, you know, not so fine lines under my eyes, I feel like it just emphasizes those, so I keep everything kind of close to my lash line and just blend it out from there. I'm going to do my upper and lower waterline with Zero Eye Pencil from Urban Decay. This is the part I'm nervous about. I'm so used to using my Kat Von D pen in Trooper. This is kind of a pot with a brush style. This is the NYC liquid liner. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna put a very thin line just on top and not do a wing just yet. If I feel confident, we'll do a wing, but let's see. So I guess we're doing a wing today. <laughs> Ugh. This liner stays wet for a very long time, so that's one issue with it. For mascara, I'm going in with Urban Decay Perversion. If I can get it, oh, okay, it's open. Calm down, calm down. One thing that's kind of good about Shop Your Stash is that you find products that you used to love and you know you just forgot about and you realize you hate them now. This mascara is coming out so clumpy and so wet on me and just so so far we have two products that I'm just gonna throw away. For blush I'm going to use Hot Mama by The Balm. This is such a pretty color. I went a little ham on the blush today and I kind of don't even care. For highlighter, I'm going in with Wet n Wild's Midnight Moon. I'm a little nervous this color isn't going to work with this look, but I do have some green going on, so maybe it will. Let's see. It's so pretty. I'm going to finish up with the lips, Max Sore Lip Liner, and Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Skinny Dip Lipstick. So that's it, you guys. I am so in love with this look. I don't know why I haven't been digging into these colors more often. I've always loved these kind of lime green chartreuse colors. I feel like it really makes my eyes pop like crazy. And I'm just excited to be using some of these products again. Other than two, which will go unmentioned in the effing trash can. Again, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Those are all Glitter Follow. I'm also on Vigo Video, which I've been loving, and I'm Glitter Follow out there, so come on over and follow me there. You guys are super rock stars. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!